Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. It's a girlfriend and we'll back with another reaction video. If you're new to this channel, make sure to give this video a thumbs up, share it with your friends, and of course, do not forget. Today, I'm going to be reacting to if Prophet Muhammad taught or to read, educate themselves. Why did he not learn? To read by Dr. Zakin Naik. So, without wasting time, let's get into the video. Uh, brother, this is a question posed by non Muslim. Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, does not know to read and write, but he has strongly supported education in Islam. Why then he did not make any attempt to learn to read and write? You well, asked a very good question that Prophet Muhammad, the first guy who's given in the Quran, in the Wahid Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, all dhikra, to read, to recite. In Surah Iqra, chapter 96, verse number 1. So when he paid so much importance, it's a Sahih Hadith, that it's obligatory on every Muslim, man or woman, to acquire knowledge. So why was he not literate? The answer is given in Surah An-Kabut, chapter number 29, verse number 48. Allah says that we have made Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam as an illiterate so that the babblers of vanity would not have an excuse. You know, people would have had an excuse that this Quran is written by Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala purposely made the last and final messenger illiterate so that people would not accuse that this book, the Quran, has been written by the last and final prophet. But even though he was illiterate, he was very educated. Illiterate means he could not read and write. But his intelligence was par excellence. Education was excellent. Illiterate though, he was a master, Michael H. Hart, La Martin, all these great scholars and the historians, they praised Prophet Muhammad as the best statesman in human history, the best leader in human history. Thomas Carlyle in his book, Heroes and Hero Worship, he calls him the best leader in human history. Michael H. Hart calls him the most influential person, though illiterate. So that is the divine wisdom of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, purposely, even the best literate person cannot write this book. But Allah's mother says in Quran in Surah An Kabur, chapter number 29, verse 48, that he made the last and final messenger an illiterate so that the people would not accuse that he is the person who wrote the Quran. Though it is a point not even big enough to hang a fly. It is so insignificant. Yet, Almighty Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala did not want to give a chance for the babblers, for those critics to point a finger, even though it is such an insignificant point. That is the reason Allah in His divine wisdom made the last and final messenger an illiterate person. Hope that answers the question. Very interesting information. It's like people that own businesses. Some of these people haven't gone to school, but they run some of the most successful businesses. Um, while people are out there learning about principles of this and that, these people have actually grasped the concept of just running a business and they just do it without any form of education, which is very interesting. I really find that very, very interesting. And some people actually go to school, study all these things, but end up working on something else, which is also interesting. I guess it can be applied to this, but not compared to Prophet Muhammad, of course. That's just different i was just thinking about it while watching this that sometimes the impossible is possible let me know what you guys think and a big shout out to the person that suggested this make sure to give this video a thumbs up share it with your friends and of course do not forget to subscribe and i'll see you in my next reaction video